All right, what's going on, on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video today and welcome back to the channel. Currently here in Chicago, Illinois, but I'm locally in the suburbs at Shorewood Fitness with my brother behind the camera, Titan Media Design. So when this video is fire, make sure you guys drop a like, show him love, it'll be in the description as well. But we're gonna be training a push day today. So we're gonna have probably two to three chest movements, probably one to two maybe deltoid movements for laterals, and then just one tricep to finish it off. And today I'm gonna be going over exercises, how I prefer to do them, better form critiques and stuff like that, along with the supplementation I'll be using to fuel my training session. And then as well, if you guys peep it, got the new Waxwear fit on, new drop just came out. Got the shorts, the socks, head to toe, and the shirt on under. So make sure you guys shop the collection. Use code FAITH for 10% off in the description. But yeah, let's get into the video. Beyond infinity and back again. Dude, I'm gonna be able to move fucking some serious weight on this thing. I'm probably gonna be moving five plates for like eight to 12. For this first chest exercise I'm doing, it's gonna be more of like an incline press. It's kind of a flatter, but I'm dropping the seat lower so I can hit the incline. And for this one, I wanna make sure to keep my elbows tucked because if I keep the elbows tucked, I can really get a deeper and fuller range of motion to really hit that upper deck. So that's my last warm up sets. I'm going for four plates. Just gonna do a few reps to get my nervous system ready and shock it. So then when I go to five plates, I'm not utilizing all my energy on warm up sets so that I can apply it to my working set because I'm only gonna be doing one to two top sets, maybe a drop, and then we're gonna be moving on to exercise number two. To them, young dog, and I talk. You know, once in the shine, don't vex when you get my way. Me, I make trouble, stress my brain. Cut checks, me, I cut to the chase. hammer strength press we started out with uh, the flat chest press but I was still targeting upper chest because for me personally any flat presses are kind of a waste because I want to hit that upper deck and no matter what we're gonna hit some anterior delt with that but I have a pretty developed lower chest mid chest and everyone can never get enough upper chest so we're gonna hit incline hammer I'm gonna do two working sets again here probably gonna change up the tempo go like four second negative maybe two second contraction and just really get a good squeeze on all of this one. So we're gonna do two sets with one back off. As you guys see at the end, pumped out partials just to get that extra muscle stimulus. So that's another way you guys can easily take your training to the next level is by incorporating little stuff like that just within your sets. So don't, don't think you need to keep doing a whole bunch of sets to get more muscle stimulus or to gain more muscle. Just make each set that much more effective at tempos, time under tension, squeezes, little stuff like that will go a long way in your training. Just rest times because a lot of people think they need to keep their heart rate up which is fine if that's you that's great but if you're trying to track performance and actually increase on your lifts and still make sure you're upholding that performance towards the tail end of your workout you guys need to take a longer rest period because a lot of people do like one to two minutes and let's just say for the first set I get 16 reps if you're only resting one to two minutes and you're exerting that much energy within the set with not a lot of time to recover you're probably not going to be getting even 12 reps for that second set so Whenever you're training, if you wanna uphold performance, you shouldn't be dropping more than two to three reps per set. So keep that in mind for the next time you guys are including this in a training session. We were gonna do cable flies, but they were taken, so we're gonna go with pec deck. It's all reliable. You can never go wrong with a good pec deck if your gym has it. Most 
people always like turn their hands in like this where they're like using their shoulders but the best way to activate your chest is you want to keep your elbow tucked up because my handle's like this so i shouldn't have my arms turned like this so keep it tucked in this is going to help put more emphasis on the chest so as you watch me i'm basically closing my elbows together and that's helping me activate more of a chest pump You always love a good gym that keeps it hot. Too cold, not so good. Too hot, not so good either. And a good mix. Get a better activation in the triceps. Tuck them in, just like you're doing chest. Deeper stretch in the tries instead of going out here like you're pressing. It's more delts, more triceps on overhead presses. Tuck them in, so even when you're doing tricep push down, tuck them in, push. Bigger range of motion, better contraction, better results. family so that's gonna wrap up the workout for today thank you guys all for giving this a watch and following along I hope you guys found some useful tips from the training the little cues that I incorporated and just in between rest times all the way over to contractions negative tempos all that good stuff that I shared apply it to your training today shoot me a message I want to see if these tips help you guys because if they do take you to the next level please let me know I'd love to share that but if you guys want to follow along on all platforms Joe Ox and also follow the editor and videographer below linked in the description but smash a like make sure you subscribe and we'll see you guys next time